Hey astrology lovers, it's Julia and Luna again to tell you what's up with the sky for October. We make horoscopes every month for your sign, so subscribe and you won't miss out on any of the latest cosmic news. Both lunations this month, meaning the full and new moons are in Libra and have Mars, the planet of war, configured strongly in them. Now Libra is usually a peace-loving sign, though it's also probably the best sign at winning an argument because it's so good at seeing the other person's view. This month could be filled with lots of pissy arguments and fiery tempers in your relationships. Since Mercury spends most of the month retrograde in Libra too, many of these arguments could be laced with miscommunications. The good news this month is that lots of planets are turning direct, thus completing their retrograde cycles. Retrograde times tend to be more difficult. If you think of the universe as a grand symphony, then a retrograde planet is like a chord that's played off key. Saturn is the first one to be going direct on the 11th. The problem planet has been retrograde since May, bringing his tests and challenges to us. When Saturn goes direct, we can slowly start seeing some forward progress, and I'll tell you where it's happening in your life in just a bit. Jupiter, the planet of luck and opportunity, also goes direct on the 18th, which will help bring more growth in some area of your life too. And then finally, on the 19th, Mercury will be the last one to go direct this month, which means that all the misunderstandings and miscommunications in your relationships will finally start to smooth over. Hey Pisces, there's a ton of cosmic activity going on in your 8th house this month, and that's the house of shared money, research, and social taboos. Mercury, the planet of communication and mentation, starts the month retrograde in this house, which means that you might have to deal with some miscommunications over money with your family or even an institution like a bank. This can also be a time of rethinking your financial strategy. This is the house of research, so if you've been digging deep on some topic in your professional or personal life, be prepared to have to redo your conclusions. Now Mars, the planet of war, is also in this house all month. You could be feeling extra frisky, spooky, and kinky because your energy might be directed towards social taboos. If you need to apply for a loan or want to make an investment, I'd suggest waiting until next month when Mars is out of here. The good news is that Venus, the planet of beauty and relationships, spends the first week this month in your fifth house of fun and dating. Honestly, this could be a pretty horny month for you because the fifth and eighth houses both rule sex. It's also a great month if you play any games like gambling, sports, or trivia. And Venus here can give you a much needed creative boost if you make art or design. And finally, I want to talk about Saturn and Jupiter, which both go direct in your twelfth house of endings. You may have been feeling pretty hard on yourself over the past year because you've been focused much more on your failures than your successes. You may have also been feeling stuck in achieving what you want, but when Saturn and Jupiter go direct here, you can slowly start making some forward progress. It's best to clear out all the things in your life which aren't working out right now because new beginnings are just ahead. Thanks for watching, friends! Luna and I are going to pick out Halloween costumes now, and Luna is probably going to go as Baby Yoda because look at those dang ears! Bye! <laughs>